Slap. Start it again. Yes, real quick. Yeah. 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 Andy, no show yesterday. Poor, poor performance. I well, he was in London. Listen, if we want to get into the real poor show, <laughs> it involves you three. But we'll forget about that. We'll talk about it after the show. There's a big rough horny bear over there. Look. Oh, there's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a man that must have woke up in fear. <laughs> fear and a hard one. Right? I'll tell you what. The video is sucking it this morning. You enjoyed yourself last night. Oh, yeah, you were dancing last night, weren't you? We'll anyway, get it up. So, we went out of the horseshoe bar. You sang, I put him up for James Blunt. Yeah. See, when you put me up, it's Simon <laughs> Perry on the karaoke. I was like, fair enough. Fucking James Blunt, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> look at him, man, dancing. Look. He David Brent at the office Christmas party. Look. That was my debut in the Wonder Bar. How good. Fucking hell, that's a great bar, isn't, isn't it? it? Great bar for all sorts of things. The decor's nice. The bar's nice. You were up in the you were up in the horseshoe karaoke and all, weren't you, Biggie? Aye, the birds are tremendous. What did you sing? But I can't roger again, the man. Gambler, aye, fuck it. It's the only one I know. It's the only one I know the words to. Don't you really good doing as well as I fall? <laughs> 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 no, you're good, big but maybe you've got a crack in your voice. Aye, it's fit. I Not didn't realise you were hitting the notes well. Did you actually have a right go? Uh -huh. I had to give it a bash, mate. Did you? Yeah, I gave it a bash. Well, fucking isn't it, mate. James Bond, you've got it to make fuck's sake, innit? There's no fucking. There's no half hearty for James Bond, is there? I oh, wanted that. Man. I didn't even see that when I said rock James Bond. I wrote your beauty. I was hoping for a mere depressing one in that, though. Because mm. it actually came across well. It was nothing like it. Was, I mean, it was quite nice. Even the Motherwell uh, coaching staff were at me. Yeah, he said that. I saw Stuart Caterwell. Great guys. You were aware of him. David Classen's looking well, innit? When they did it with the outside. <laughs> Can't be out celebrating 15 games without a win, aye? <laughs> For Sunday, Sunday horseshoe. <laughs> Stevie Frail's on crack as well, isn't it? What a hero. We had, we, me and Stevie had seen one of the ones at the end of the night and you have a proper heart at heart. Do you know what I mean? You're telling each other how good you are and yeah, how much you love I heard her. you say, I should have made that. <laughs> <laughs> how did I know me the cat? Holy my heart, she was right. <laughs> like, you know, general manager, I was good for her. <laughs> oh, what, he's one of the best guys you could meet. You feel oh, right? He's one of the best guys you could meet. You had the heart to heart with Kettlewell, mate. Good Don't know chat. what you two were talking about. Good chat. Well, was just to be he was referencing his run. Was so how did I make it 16? <laughs> 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 I was like, just keep doing what you're doing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, only, I mean, it's amazing music weekend really cheered me up, beating Selic 2 0. You're brilliant, mate, honestly. Senior goals, I right? job, done it. No, oh, you like Celtic getting beat. Oh, no, 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 no. Ted on Kerry no, goes straight away. Team Brigade says wow. Celtic buzzing no, to get no. beat. No, at all. Okay, James McCarthy game. played. Yeah, it. I was buzzing for you, mate. Thanks. Yeah, right, right now. <laughs> James McCarthy played a couple of couple of minutes. Couple of minutes. Like, games. We were really good, mate. Honestly, actually, that's the best we've ever played. One of the best performances I've seen for a low and league well, team, mate. Honestly, because they had good players playing. Fuck, boy, Frame played that came on. That is a good player, we boy Cars, Daniel Kelly. I think they were four players that played for the first team. Is that who sent him out? Sent him out. He's cracking player. But our boys were exceptional, mate. Like the intensity of the game was incredible. It was a proper game of football. You see, it was man for man. Man, man for man. man. It was basically like a man for man game. It was like Bielsa would have been sitting in the stands like that. Ah, chugging. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Going wild. Sitting in the stands like that. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, I mean, by the way, that is unreal because they're full time. So yeah. if you used to compete with them. Um, and that way, the fitness level is unreal. I said it with people like Daz, I love Daz. I think he's the right man for the Twitter job, but I think he's like, they've got players that have played at a much higher level. Like, people assume that about us, but you actually go through your team. Right. This is so busy, mate. Dylan was at East Kilbride last year in the same league. Cammy was at Darvo League below. David Ferguson was at Berwick, same league. Ryan Lockie was two leagues down at St Caddox. Chris McGowan, Darvo. Scott Ferguson, Darvo. Jal's on loan for Abroth. He's the one that's played to be a bit higher. I was going to say Liam Brown and Jal are the only two. Liam really wasn't played. even playing, mate. Uh, and then Flanny was at Ford for last well, year. Pierre was at Ocean Lake Talbot. And still was at Darvo. Well, uh, Darvo, did that, Darvo said that. That says they've got players that have played at a much higher level. But we didn't, mate. It's like, I, I, it does my tits in a wee bit because everyone always says that to me. Nah, say, no. And by the way, the wee man signed for Celtic. Ah, oh, bro. Oh, oh man. No, I fucking hell. What a dad, man. That was dad of the year, mate. I'll tell you what, that was, uh, that was some experience, that. Up to Celtic Park in the stadium. Honestly, it was... Did you do a shine in Celtic Park? Oh, Danny? Are you talking about Danny? Danny? Ah, it was oh, class. Congrats, mate. Uh, I was confused there. Nah, they did it right. Like, proper wee presentation and stuff. All the, the staff there and... Danny, uh, like, even Lyndon was like, I didn't think it was a big deal, but it was a big deal. You've been in the boardroom, right? Aye. Well done, Kev. Class, man. That's like, amazing. Oh, that's something I'm not going to be on the dads that turn around and say, the hard block starts now. Just enjoy no. it, son. Enjoy it. Whatever happens, happens. Nobody really that arse, whatever happens. So is that him away for Condorit? That's him left. Condorit, no see. Condorit's all see. <laughs> oh, oh. That could be a relegation battle next year. Condorit, oh, well, to be fair. 
That's what it could Their be. Manager, uh, they were there. Free Carter. Free Carter. Free Carter signed with Motherwell. Danny with Celtic. And Callum signed with Motherwell. And then at the last minute, yeah, a three year offer for Sitting Marin. <laughs> three year offer. <laughs> nine year offer. Nine year offer. But he opted to go with Sitting Marin uh, uh, with Motherwell because he thought uh, they were quite good. So that's three of them away. And then we had a futsal tournament on Saturday. Rangers, by the way, brilliant. Are they? Aye. I have to say, is that their youth? The futsal, I think the futsal for the young kids is brilliant, man. So one took the team, didn't he? Aye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> the boy, i tell you who's boy, Brian Kerr, played with Motherwell. Uh -huh. His boy, one player tournament. Good player. We didn't even break sweat. What right. a player, by the way. Something and a half. Very, very good. But there were some good kids. You like the futsal? That's the Aye, first I time really I've like seen it. it. For yeah. boys at that age Amazing. as well, man. First time I've seen it, I'm no convinced. Are you know? the ball is nah. heavier than your boys? <laughs> It's a heavy ball. Ball's on the deck too much, isn't it? It's on the deck too much. They <laughs> <laughs> cross. They cross. What gets me is that the one you keep the They crosses. I can't put it in. keep the ball heavy so it's yeah, on the deck. Mixer. But when they get a corner, they scoop up and they try to head it in. Mm. So is that no a wee bit of pride in that? Uh, Aye. Any, that but before that, any poker players get playing for any clubs? You could mind it went to Salvation Army. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not joking. I get a message the other day, not back, he's not coming back to Boca, he's going to be at the Salvation Army every Thursday now. <laughs> That's unreal. <laughs> Who's secret Santa's that? It's a sign. Aye, it's right. That's got to be the greatest comment I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> you got one at the Salvation Army. Believe it. Whose bag's that? This is for you, mate. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm really gutted because I got you something really good. And, and it didn't come in time, so, but, no, no. Remember what the forfeit was? No, no, oh, I've, I've, I've said it last week, I've got you something, I've, I've read that, but the present I'm going to get... I keep that for the Kim for Kim's Thursday, so everybody. Oh, Kev, Kev's wrapped it in a oh, you've wrapped it. This is the worst, <laughs> this is the worst. So you open that first, I'll mate. I'll stop you, you're saying, sorry. That's really bad. Oh my, it's fucking heavy. <laughs> that is so heavy, what, mate. I don't know what you get anybody, I just thought something funny, but... Oh, yeah, that's all right, mate. I could do one in a minute or not. <laughs> Stillness and speed, Dennis Becker. That's my numbers. Fucking hell. What the fuck, man? <laughs> When's it spiding it? He's not on. Again, I'm going to score for a fucking brilliant one. Do you mind if I do Kev's now? Because I would Close love if Kev put his own. Kev. Kev. Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Paul, thanks for my guest. Merry Christmas, Paul. Can you can you go and put it on for us now? Nah? Oh, yeah, look, 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 he's looking <laughs> first. <laughs> yeah, you can't look. You need to, it's a surprise for a camera. I need to look. Oh, wait a minute. I have to read it first. Do so we know what you're looking at? <laughs> I don't know what you must have to show us. Should I put it on then? <laughs> I'll go and put it on. I'm going to be genius. Stick it on. But I've got something for you. Where it was? New line of skill. It's fat proof, it's fucking fat proof. massive. It's fat proof as well, yeah. Stick that on as well, Kev, over the gym. <laughs> I'm not putting them on. Who was yeah, I getting slain it? <laughs> That's what you asked for? So you could bench into your dad's bag. <laughs> That's what you asked for. Yeah, I went to the barrage yesterday, right, and I was like, to the guy, you got any um, gas masks? And he's like, ah. there's an old guy, he's like, what's it for? And I went, master bit, and he went like, Spray painting! <laughs> I went, no, I'm masturbating, mate. He was pushing himself off and said, there you go, wee man. Right, I'm going to go and I've also on. managed to get an image of you playing for Celtic on a mug. Oh, you're a left, mate. That's beautiful. I don't think I can oh. read it. <laughs> there you go, wee man. Go <laughs> score, oh, wee man. That, <laughs> mate, that actually does look like me, doesn't it? Double. That is magnificent. He's a wild thing, say, please. You want a wild thing, mate? He's one of your Christmas presents. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, That's on you. I've got one, I've got one. Oh, I'm the thing to get Kev. What have you got, Kev? Who have you got? Oh, did you buy for? Yeah, no, thanks very much, Kev. Kev, I actually got you some uh, then for taking uh, Don and Murray's bins out as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 secret Santa for everyone. Seen them as well for you, Kev. For <laughs> <laughs> you and Lynn. Uh oh, what? <laughs> what is <laughs> A good old fashioned scrap at Parkgate. Here, sir, I got you a present. No bad, Kev. 
And Slaney got you one too, mate. Well, I can't get that happened. That's definitely one that's wrapped him now. Aye. I like the effort. So it is this. I like the effort we've went to here. <laughs> what will Billy Condon? Look at my stats. Just so you can sort that out. That's unreal, man. I got you some. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I got you hand. some wet look. <laughs> Oh thanks mate, I appreciate that. Get wet like for the, uh, for Christmas mate. I think that would drag, drag my hair out to be honest with <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, cool. Is that good? Amazing. You look like you're gonna pass it. Who got you that? I feel high brief. I got him. <laughs> mate, that was <laughs> mate, that was twenty-five quid in the barrels. <laughs> mate, my kids would love that. You know, well. could, uh, can I hear that saying? Anyway? No <laughs> chance. <laughs> can I read my dad's bag after that? He'd first. <laughs> now you can sleep in these bags. I can see it? I can see me going in the house tonight, right? The scout on the mask on and the handcuffs and see what Lynn says. And this? Aye. Go and get naked, kid. Aye, wait, let's see, if, <laughs> let's see if it works. <laughs> that works to be fair, aye, perfect. Right, what, talk about Fitmo? Aye, no, let's yeah, No, yeah, no, yeah. And did you do it the yeah. weekend? I know, was it, did you miss the Hearts Christmas do? It wasn't, a, it wasn't a Christmas do, to be honest, I think. Eleven went. It was like a... It was like last minute dot com, it was a week ago or something that got arranged. Half the boys had stuff, stuff on, so... I think 11, 10 or 11 went down. Down at London, huh? But I tell you what, what a way to go down after a win like that. Oof, boys buzzing, huh? How'd they get down to fly? Aye. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it, London? What, did you fly down Saturday night after the game? Aye. Uh, I think the flew for Edinburgh. Oh, decent. Are only 11 went? I think so, aye. It's a pair of shots that tells me a lot. There's a divide in the squad, isn't there? No, but to be fair, six weeks ago, what told us no Christmas do because of all the games. And then last week, he's like, ah, you never. Nazi was like, don't invite Halliday. I know. He's a bad egg. I got banned. He's a bad egg. That's good, that one. Is it? The thicker tash, aye. That actually suits him, doesn't it? I wish I could grow a proper fucking. Just get a tash in it. I'm glad you can't. Mate, you're, I'm, you're fucking sexy right now. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather the jeans came off, but just your legs. Do you get, would, you, uh, would you take the jeans off? No. Do you get, Wait, that would be incredible, do you, man. No, because I'm my boss, you bet. <laughs> Are you your pants on? You miss, this, you miss Christmas days and stuff like that when you're playing? No. No. How come? That feeling on a Monday coming back for Christmas know. day is fucking up there with the worst, isn't it? Aye. Two days, man. It's never easy, is it? No. Oh. Favourite place for a Christmas day? Dublin. Newcastle. Newcastle is a cock, is that a proper cock fest? No, uh, no when I was there. Nah? That's what I'm saying, didn't <laughs> Is it? Me, didn't. Newcastle's not the best place. Jack. I like Newcastle, but is, is Dublin no, and Minnow Met to be amazing? Dublin's I, class. I told you about the time I pissed over Kevin Nolan, didn't I, in Newcastle? I mean, what's it going to tell us again? Though, Fuck, I, went in the I was steaming, went in the toilet and Kevin Nolan was in, so it was a big cue to get in. It was tupped up, remember that? So you need to take the hang off? Oh, you don't? Big cue to get in, and I've just oh. barged my way in. I was like, I need a piss, I'm busting for a piss. He's like, fucking jump near, little man. Mate, steaming, see one of the things where you piss and it comes back, mate. I'm pissing, man. It's oil his jeans. He's like, you're fucking pissing all over my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Big Kevin, no one's thinking of pissing Newcastle, man. What a hero. Love you, Andy. What's your favourite place for a Christmas too? Um, see, honestly, mate, I'm no mad on, on a lot of places in England where you go for a Christmas too. I've only London's been too busy, I think. Oh, I'm loving it, you all love it. Here's the road west, mate. Here's the road west, bro. See, to be fair, Dublin is up there. The Sunday, the place you go on a Sunday in Dublin's on. Ah, the old Dubliner? Temple Bar. Amazing Temple, Temple Bar as well. Did you ever, see a young boy, did you ever go on a first team Christmas day? No. No. Nah. Did you? We went to Ho Wong once. Was and they'd done the cards on the table. Never shot myself so much in your life, mate. What do you mean, done the cares on the table? Put the bag down. Oh, right, right, right. I think a young boy got picked out, but Big Boric was like, ah, nah, he's not, but I'll pay for it. And Big Boric got the full meal. Uh, see, yeah, that was the one that Yara sat and gave Paul Caddy. He went like that. We were at the casino and he went like, there's 500 quid. He went, you know, gambling and cards, that name money, skint. And Yara sat was like, there's 500 quid going. Uh, Did he gamble or did he keep it? Kept it. Ah, quite ah, right. Yeah, I don't know same. Just bought fucking ham sandwiches with your kids. Didn't drink, mate. Christmas do man. See, mate, can I just sat with us in Dublin for a full weekend, no drinking? I, I, I just don't know how you could Why do that. Why is that? Just doesn't drink. That's mad, isn't it? It's hard no drink, is it? On a Christmas do, mate. You couldn't do that. I, I'm one of them, to be fair, I couldn't go on a night out and no drink. No. Nah, I, pretty I, can't, I couldn't do it. You've been off it for a while, haven't you? Nah, it's... Last week's was my first beer, I wasn't on it, but my first beer for about four months. Why is that, mate? Just trying, mate. Get too horny when you're drunk. You said that. <laughs> just try to stay after for a bit. Do you feel better? I'll be, bre I'll be breaking that ritual soon for sure. Do you feel better not drinking? No. Nah. I feel better on a Sunday. 
Do you feel like you lose weight or that? Have you lost more weight or that? No, no, same. I just like a size of a pint's great. I love having a pint. Oh, that pint uh, and under Barry Slaves. All the pints were tremendous. Mm -hmm. He's got all your presents in for your partners. Sorry, my partner, stop saying that. I'm needing help. I'm needing help. Lynn's doesn't want anything right. What the fuck do you get your partner? You've been married 18 years from the girl. Get a face on it. Get a man, aye. I don't know. You're that scut, mate. Just don't let her see this. I don't know what to get her. Lynn's tough to get in it. I'm hopeless. She would tell you straight again. I don't know what to get her. I've got fucking five days, basically. Much do you want to spend? No, I, 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 50 quid, if, if, I, I push. 50 quid? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll get her something, but I don't know. What do the boys get? Boys have asked for, Santa, Tom's asked for a bike, Danny's asked for golf clubs, and Harry's asked for a new driver for his golf. What about your boys? And just track suits and clothes. And track hair clays. Is it a fortune? Fortune, mate. Is it? The world's, the world's gone mean, mad, mate. Pre -map, mate. Getting them kitted out. How, how did how, I, my, my I, kids will live with a shoestring when I have kids. How <laughs> mad is the cost of everything, by the way? Ah, uh, the just, world's mad, mate. They'll get nothing, my kids, so just do that. See that? Not, see that they'll see that, get nothing, my kids. Why? See that going for size five trainers, junior sizes to size six? I'm squeezing fucking two more years out of the fives. <laughs> You go for £40 to £110 for a pair of trainers. <laughs> Wild, mate. It's fucking See, when you get a track of trainers and a football strip, you're talking 300 quid straight away. That's just in, it's for cold, you know I mean? It's free presents. Yeah, You've got two. It's actually wild. I'm going to Australia for Christmas. Are you? Mm hmm. Perth. 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 Have you ever been to Perth, any of No, I've never been to Australia, mate. Been to Australia, been to Melbourne, it's beautiful. Yeah, park you're going to, aren't <laughs> No, I'm thinking about getting out of Perth for a couple of weeks. Are you, mate? Yeah, Christmas, aye. But cheese days there, the fish are used to work, so can there there. Um, but so, somebody said to me, Perth, very quiet. I get depressed in quiet places. Uh -huh. So I mean, I need somewhere else just constantly mobbed all the time. So, um, no, that's... See the amount of people that I've picked up over the weekend <laughs> that said to me, so funny, did, you, did your dad actually put a Sabrina <laughs> board on his chest? I went, what the fuck are you listening to, mate? <laughs> I had a guy, I had a guy message me. You had a guy in the taxi, he kept messaging me, was it Friday oh night? Oh my God, man. Andy McPhee, he's that geezer mentioned on the podcast. He was fucking endless. <laughs> what, he messaged you well, he <laughs> was in the taxi? <laughs> endless. <laughs> I, I dropped him off, right, and he was actually quite nice to be fair. And he says, can I get a picture with you? Can you give me a cuddle? I says, I need one, mate. So I cuddled him, right? And then as I drove, did a U-turn to go to the street, he's like, ah, standing in the, in the driveway going, ah, with a big love heart. You're no, was it was it like that? Was it like that? Was it like that? Well, I've been in the early 30s, mid 30s. He was like, You talk some shite in that podcast. I says, Mate, I says, Do you ever think, I says, Mate, it's mad at it. I says, do you, ever, do, you, do you ever think that I say it just for for a fucking, oh my God, man? <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> you done that? That's brilliant. That's fucking That nuts. is tremendous. <laughs> did your, went to did your dad shave his chest before he done it? Let's clarify this, right? <laughs> My dad got a bit of plywood and he, he glued the mat to the plywood so we had a proper pitch. Right? <laughs> it's, you're, you're spot on, the amount of people come up to you and just say, say things to you. I was, um, after we done the cooking show, which I was, I was <coughs> we're almost a butchering performance again, wasn't it? Just up there, but I don't want to keep going on about that. So anyway, I was like myself, right, just get yourself away, you've had an arse shocker, just go downstairs. Just go downstairs, I'm doing, a, pi I'm doing a pish. And above the toilet, in bucks, slain as a wank, somebody's scribbled onto the toilet. Uh, onto scratched onto the, scratched onto the door. Mate, slain as a wank. It was after you fed him that wing, was it? <laughs> Mate, I couldn't believe that. By the way, we need to say we've got a wings challenge coming out. You, you know the two boys, incredible. Oh, they're brilliant, they're brilliant, they're brilliant. It was good. Oh, funny, mate. Was it good, And then we've got another two coming. There's another uh, two big names on Thursday, the Thursday they're doing it. Well, I think, that, I think that, that one was brilliant there, but I potentially think this one could be the best ever. Mm. Better than Gaz and Deeks? Aye, up there. This, could uh, be up there. Uh, it was really funny. What, man. the two, are they current? They're on the radio. Aye, uh, they're in the, they're oh, in the, the right, public. Oh, right, I remember who it is, aye. They're public really aye. good, mate, funny as fuck, couldn't they? Are they, aye? Do you the two coming on, the two coming on are big Roger TV Hanna stars. Roger Hannah and Shug, wasn't it? <laughs> like Shug getting full of barbecue. Roger has I want them hotter. Right, <laughs> 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 hey, let's get to the fucking uh, football. Fuck me, man. You're desperate to go somewhere with a no. t-shirt on, aren't you? Let's get, uh, let's get, let's, let's talk cup about it. Cup final, you take it away then, the cup right, final. Right, well, we got the cup you were final studying first. it in the wonder bar, pen and paper, it. No, I wasn't it. What was it your was take on it? possibly up there with the worst cup final I've watched. <laughs> Why? Because it was just shite. What quality like? Aye. Did, fucking Rangers. Derek Adams sitting there, then, man. Aye. But Rangers were Rangers, Rangers were the better team, the better they team by win. far. Aberdeen Aye. huffed and puffed. It wasn't, a, to be <laughs> fair, I, I don't think it was a great game either, to no. be fair, but 
when there's cup finals, it doesn't really matter. No. I think they're always at that as well. I, I always Aye, think there's like, never outstanding when you, when cup finals. Come into these cup, uh, cup finals, cup semis, I think there's so much emphasis going into the game, and you can see teams are cagey. The first half was like a basketball game for the most part, which I thought was surprising because I don't think Rangers ever really settled and had much control of the game. But at the same time, you just I don't think Aberdeen ever really looked at scoring. No. Uh, I think they had moments <coughs> counter attack. It was TV three, TV twos. Maybe picked the wrong option or lack of quality with final pass. But cup final never had a shot on target. So mm. I think Rangers in the end. The moments of quality that were there, I think Rangers showed them and, and obviously got the job done. And where was Sterling playing? Centre mid and like, I, I, I think there's questions got to be asked of why he's not been near the team mm-hmm. since the start because he was he? second half in Betis he was unbelievable mate was second he, half right? at, at, in Betis he was <laughs> so good and he's not, a, he's, he's not a centre mid and I think like you you would have played out of position before the hardest position to play out of position centre mid for me if you're, if you're somebody who's never mm-hmm. played, played there, right? part, <clears throat> then to go in there in a game like that away to Betis who haven't, <laughs> lo- who haven't lost at home for so long I think it's a big ask and I thought he was outstanding there and then at the weekend again there I think maybe that type of game suited him being in midfield because it was just about breaking the play up positionally getting back tracking back winning the ball keeping it simple and I thought I thought it was between him and one or two others it was, a, it was the best one on the pitch he's got man in the match I need to mention it as well because somebody did message me and they're fair enough I need to mention an incredible result in Betis as well Oh my no, god, unbelievable. What a week for Rangers. Unbelievable. Listen, that's uh, to go over there and probably needing to win to qualify was real bit of mugs. No. I mean, 3 2, that's incredible. But uh, fair play to them. They've, well, they've picked up dread. massively underneath Clement. The thing for me, I would be worried about if I was outside this is, is that Clement's come in with the players that he's been handed with and managed to get them, keep them in touch with Celtic. Two games in hand that potentially could take the top league, win the first cup of the season. And he's, no, he's not even got any of his players in yet. Players, any of his players in yet. <clears> so, <throat> if he goes into January and gets a couple of guys that he thinks can strengthen that team. Any other players that you thought were hopeless under Bill that you're starting to see Merrill under? I thought yesterday Dessers. Like, I know Dessers is getting, he's getting a really hard time, <coughs> but there's a couple of moments in the game where he had some right, right good skill, created a good opportunity out of nothing. Yeah, yeah he was going to the line in it when he nah, cuts in. Uh, quite uh, great, great opportunity, keepers made a good save. Um, I don't know, I just think they. They know what they're doing, they are what they are, and there's nothing fancy about it. Mm. Um, McCausen, I think McCausen's a bright, a bright spark in, in terms of he gives you that wee bit extra sometimes that you need. And then obviously Tavernier scoring another fucking It's mad, isn't it, Tavernier though, isn't it? He gets oh, the criticism he gets, him, but, it's man, incredible. The, the moments he's came up with, uh, <clears> another <throat> massive one yesterday, isn't it? Uh, right, don't get me wrong, I think the defending for Aberdeen's got to be better. Should the keeper save it? Oh, the goalie should save it. You can't leave your fucking hands in the house at a final, mate. <laughs> I, do, I do think the centre half, though, kills him a wee bit. Aye. By t- he dangle a leg, leg and clear it, and I, I don't know if he thinks it's going to deflect after that. And he said, like, listen, he should save it, but. He poured the wild thing out of his hands before the game, <laughs> didn't he? He just went fucking dead. By the time he's took the touch and then ready to volley it, the defenders come out like that, keeping his arms closed. Just get out and block the shot. That's what I would say, but. Um, but on a whole, Rangers definitely deserve to be the, the, the winning team. See the better result? I think that's as good a result as Rangers have had in Europe. Aye. I honestly do. Because I think going into the game, Ben Davies hardly played any football. Sifuentes, for me, has came under a lot of criticism. Lammers came under a lot of criticism. Dessers, I think they're going in there with a start in 11 where Rangers fans are thinking, pfft. Mm. I we, didn't no get chance, chance. No, no chance of winning that game. Yep. And then... To win it and again, like I say, it's better some beating at home for no. a long, long time. To be fair, it's far too win. late for Pe- old Pellegrini, innit? He looked Aye. fucking Aye. knackered, mate. He's like 90, man. Mate, so they're out now, they could put out, didn't they? they out for that? Aye, confidence they're in. Wow. And I suppose the fans went mental. Did they? Aye. Because they uh, drew it with Real Madrid, didn't they, a few days before that? Right, does Tavernier go down as one of the most important Rangers players last decade? Oh, right, he has to. Best player. Easy, aye. 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 He's Easy. been the best player the last He's 10 years. He's been the most but... consistent player over the course and distance. Mate, Numbers. Has, he, has he ever missed like, a period mate, of time? No. Uh, that's, that's, that's another thing that goes under the radar. I think availability, mate. He's just every. Never misses a training session. Never misses a game. Always there. Big moments. That's like the leader. And see, the thing is that people say this all the time, like, ah, but defensively he's not great. See, if Tav was as good defensively as going forward. He'd be playing for Manchester United. Uh, uh, right? like, he wouldn't beat Rangers. Like, you're talking about. You, again, you don't want to keep comparing, but the Celtic right backs. When was the last time he set up a goal or a chance? Aye, he doesn't look like half the player he was last season. No. I know. Mate, yeah. fourteen goals to have scored against Aberdeen. Fourteen. What is it? What is his actual numbers? Hundred and fifteen goals or something like that. Mate, that is oh, madness. So it's something like that. But fourteen goals against the one team. He's been at Rangers what two thousand fifteen. He's been at Rangers eight years. Eight year. 
He scored 14 goals against one team. Right. Again, I, I'm just, I'm, I didn't get to see a lot of them. I didn't get to see the best game because we were training, but Barisic crosses it into Werner finishes it. Has yeah. that been a kind of, is that how Coleman wants to play? The two fullbacks being really attacking? It's mad as well because seeing the first half, I thought, watching the game, I was thinking, they're putting in too many crosses in the box and no making Aberdeen defend because at times it was, it, to me, it looked as if there was only Dessers and Ross McCausland in the box. And I was like, why are they just swinging in English crosses with, with right. no sort of thought between it? But then, Get the turns out that's where they get the goal from. But I thought Tav, like, obviously like we talked about, he came up with a big moment. I thought Tav was so quiet in the first half. But it, it felt as if he was on a leash a wee bit and, and he wasn't that marauding fullback that he's been uh, over time. Maybe you said he likes that for being on a leash sometimes. Ah, he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. He's got that mask in the house. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that was by design, but he was... He, he was a lot deeper than he's been in recent games. But then he said in his interview that at, ha at half time they noticed there was that was on. There was right. a big gap left. Like when the ball was on the other side for Tavenu to get in there, they must have noticed that. How many other right backs would you see in that position from an attacking <clears throat> like in a situation where you're attacking? Just how consistently he does it as well, right. isn't it? How consistently he gets in the positions. Because you wouldn't see Alistair Jones up there doing that. Big man's done a new one to come on. Mate, it's incredible the transformation. Your, well, po your I, point I was spot on, mate. Not once has he came in and moaned and said, no. I need more quality. He just went about his business so quietly. He will be saying that in the back. Of course, course say, I think he's going to be very good for Rangers. <clears throat> Do you, huh? Ah, yeah, he's been good so far. And I think over time. The fact time, he's doing it with Alec Ray on his staff as well is incredible. Amazing. <laughs> 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 he got a point and he got a point. I saw him yesterday <laughs> on the pitch and thinking, I like Was Alec. he not just a fucking stopgap for two weeks and now he's still there? He's a great guy. Just spitting all over Murray Park, isn't he? I think up until a week ago, it, was, it would have been too early to say, oh, come on, it's been unbelievable what he's doing, but we not really having any big games at that point in time, but now, after that week, right. going well, winning better, qualifying for Europe, and then win the first half of the season. The, the, the start of his Rangers job so far has been brilliant. I, I, for, to me, it's the way he speaks, like you say. It's like, I just think he talks like a proper manager. Mm. There's no... There's no complaints, uh, there's just an emphasis all the time about a message, he talks about just being winners every single day and after they get certain results, he's like, right, it's on to the next game. You're not mm -hmm. dwelling on it and I'm sure that'll be the same, they've, they've got obviously hanging its mother well away next in, in Christmas Eve. No doubt about it, Rangers will be back in 10 the day or tomorrow and it'll just be focused on the next By game. the way, what about the holidays pyro? Before the game, that was right. incredible, man. It was good, wasn't it? You're all being the man up, uh, up the back Thanks, of Hamden. Brilliant, wasn't it? What about Aberdeen? What chance? Is it Nicky that puts a great bond? Aye. <clears throat> why does the boy leave it? He leaves it. I don't know, I don't know why he leaves it. Was it abuse? Said there was a penalty. Can't melt pools. Did you see enough of the replay? Was on the talking points. Some of the three Rangers pet, uh, penalties Rangers Aye, have had on the, the talking points of it, like, we didn't hear about it when we like offside about it. So somebody maybe can clarify it, but what I saw in the highlight was he was pulling them back. Surely that's a penalty, but was it stopped before he was pulling them back? I don't really know. Mm. But it, was it checked? It, he was pulling them, but the law is... So like, it, is it affecting the person that's getting pulled? Is right. it going to be in the... Oh, as in ah, as the ball comes out. That's what I mean. It takes a corner, fucking shanks it along the floor and Tav clears it at the front post. Aye. If that's going to Gartman, it's going to be a penalty. Oh, yeah. right. Is that the rule? Is that? Oh, I never knew that. There's, right, it's the, there's a few. It's like, <coughs> is it a prolonged pull? Is it enough away for the jersey? Because they say that every pull of the jersey is not a penalty. So if I'm standing next to you and I'm doing that, it's not a penalty. Oh, Sorry. Mm -hmm. but, you uh, like a prolonged pull, uh, don't you? It's my favourite, honestly. My favourite. <laughs> I need to stop the jokes. I done that last week and on I watched the bat. It was just, I'm at a wee creep, mate. I need to rap him. <laughs> I had 20 quid with me last night. How he came you... out and he was like, just use three going around and I'll just get me because I've only got 20 quid when it runs out on the end of the road. I've got 20 quid. Do you want to go in a kit? Do you want to go in a kit? You chuck a tenner on it. The kit tenner on a kit. Where's all your money gone? Fucked it all in Rome. That was about three months ago. I know, I'm just struggling now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a hole, mate, honestly, I'm in a hole. It's in one last night, I know. Fucking hell. I'll tell you, though, what, I, what I can't really believe is, I mean, I said a few weeks ago about if Clermont can just keep yourself in touching distance. Oh, what's that? Um, hmm. If he can just keep yourself touching distance. Is that what you were doing when you were pulling? <laughs> no, if he can, before, like, until January, that would be a success for me for, for just coming in. But the fact that they could actually now go to the League. Wait, 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 where do you think you're talking about bringing these in players in? Where, where, what area do you think you'll bring in? Centre forward, left back, back, I think. It's like a winger, left back. Aye. What, what's, what side of that winger? Because Seaman's numbers have right. been incredible, aren't they? Right, right. And McCausland's been really it's good. Seaman's potential. Oh, Seaman's potential. Seaman's potential. Seaman's potential. Seaman's potential. Seaman's potential going back to Brighton in January. It's a tough one. Shankland's surely they're looking at. Aye, but they're going to have to pull over the. I would say Hearts are they going to accept a. 
Nej, der er bare 4 million for skrøret. I wonder if he'll, he'll try to say, I think he'll mass go. I think he'll be the one that'll go. I think, um, I did think Dessers would have, I thought he'd have got him, but no, no, he'll keep him now. We, um, we young man's will go to Salvation Army with your boys. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he man was in there. He was, he's not for me. Do you think Sterling, I was going to ask you, do you think Sterling could go as left back? Left back? That's what I'm thinking. He played there for Stoke last year, so. I'd like to see him get a run in the team. Why would you take Whatever. him out of the Why would you take him out of the centre of the picture? Because he's just centre mid. I know he's went in there and done well for a couple of games, but couple it's no his, his future's not as a What is he like on the ball in there? Does it kind of just get S- it and get Simple, mate. Uh-huh. Aye, simple. But for me, defensively, like, over at Betis, there was a couple of times towards the end where Isco stood him up and he's done that shift, chop, shift, chop. But see how quickly he was moving his feet defensively and just constantly staying in front of him? And that's when you know you're a proper defender. So for me, I, I'd like to see a run at him left back. Like I say, he's like, even though he's right footed, I think he played something like 35 games for Stoke at left back. Mm. So, he can play there. The guys like Ryan Jack and that, they're probably times up there. What is it? Come on, please. Is that a 4 2 3 1? Aye. Uh, so, it's, who was it? Sterling and Lindstrom? Sterling and Lindstrom's been one that's been transformed Lindstrom into. Lindstrom's, uh, Lindstrom's been good. And that's probably that's probably why Lindstrom's been quite successful recently because he's been really, really strong, positive, um, stop and play. He looks hungry for it again. But, um, no, I don't know. I just think that we we, we talked weeks ago about staying and keeping the touch. Can they get a result at Parkhead or if Celtic win? Does that is that the end of it? But now you're looking at it. It's a must win for Celtic. Like if we're going to come in them in a bit. Oof. Uh, it's, I mean, it's mad. Was it seven points? I don't. Mm-hmm. And we, how many times did we say it? This is a massive December for Rangers. The games they had. I know. Got to Tincastle, got to Petard, got to Easter Road, got to Celtic Park. Like you're thinking. You can't let that gap widen anymore, and then you're not talking that the Rangers win two games. Rangers, I don't think really. Rangers have played particularly amazing in that, any uh, of the games. No, I mean I don't. Like, I watch do they play that. it for the back in that Kev? Uh, no, they do it times, but they can be times, but they, they uh, can be. Just, you know, like just like for the big dessers. No, 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 straight balls. Mm-hmm. Like more like if if Seamus playing off the shoulder, and trying to run him behind Conor Goals, no, play that one over the top to get them up the pitch. But I know because I've watched like that in a couple of games, and I just think they're all right. But there's no, there's no, no, no been wowed by them. Mm. But what the what day, they are it's, now it's though is, is much more aggressive going forward. Oh, yeah. Like we're going to get on to Celtic, and we're going to talk about how it's probably the opposite, but it's a bit more slow tempo build up. Hey, Rangers you going for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking like. But Rangers it? are much more like first thoughts forward all the time, trying, trying to attack. Good. Can yeah. they, can, how far can they go in Europe? I've done it before. Depends on the draw. The draw today, isn't it? Is it today? Draws today. I mean, they oh, don't, they don't go in, they miss this next round. Ah, it's good for Rangers because they get yeah. tapped because they talked to Wow, oh, that's, that's, that's right. right. That's right. That, now that if you finish first, you miss the, the last 32 playoff round, you go straight into the last And the second place plays a Champions League team that came in, I'm sure. So is it, again, I know we've t- done this a lot, but who are the kind of favourites for Liverpool. this? Liverpool. Liverpool. Leverkusen are insane. Um, are they, huh? Oh, Under what a team. Keezy loves them, doesn't he? What a guy. <laughs> Mate, they are, it's the football, you said it earlier on in the season, football they are playing is incredible. It's, but it's Brighton point two, isn't it? Ah, you've so so Leverkusen, is it? Ah, so Brighton's, in the, Brighton's in the Europa League, aren't they? Aye. They'll be tough but as then, well. But then, but we say that the last Europe play run, but, uh, you would have looked at it. Dortmund were in it, Leipzig were in it. Rangers knocked it to it. I don't think I don't think they'll be. I don't think they'll go in that same run. But listen, they've got as good a chance as any other team in that last sixteen because it ultimates two games over like a two-legged affair, and you just got to try and get a positive result away from home and try and ho- hope. I don't that know. We'll have a pool in home it. form. Sorry, I don't know. I don't want to go too far away from what we're talking about. Right? See the way Leverkusen play. I don't even know how you coach that, mate. I honestly don't. Like, it's the most mad, bizarre way to play football ever. Well, you did you, did you know so his dad successful. was a manager as well? Aye. <clears throat> his dad was a manager. Have but you watched much of them? No, I've not seen them. You'd mate. love them, mate. Yeah, they're brilliant. What do they, they play like? Them. They play like a 4 2 4 almost in possession, right? But see when they're on the right hand side, so we say we Brighton where somebody stays on the ball, yep. they attract pressure, and then it's like it bump, bump, bump. But yep. then it, they, there's a big emphasis on like third man runs. But see when they're on the right hand side, Overload. everybody for the left hand side just comes out here so all 11 of them play within about 30 yards but not, not even one stays one, maybe one, one but like the other 10 mate are and like and the it, fucking size of this Astro next to each other so they're they're just, like, as well they get it back quick uh-huh. I think they might win the league do you think they win the league? Might, they might win the league. Bayern, Bayern got horsed off uh, Frankfurt didn't they? they have a five one. but they, they beat um, Bayern one yesterday 3-0 they won yesterday but you know, yeah. they'll, be, they, they'll be strong can't believe they're into German football uh-huh. what about Aberdeen now will they take their kick on in the league now? I think they have to. I think they have to. Another option for them, don't they? They have to. Yeah. They definitely have to. Well, I, 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 thought, I thought Duke was good when he came on yesterday. I was surprised he didn't actually 
Um, start with him. He's, he, he's not started a lot of I big know. games this year, isn't he? Which is quite surprising. I think he started a lot of games in general, year. mate. Yeah. Even the bigger ones, I don't think he started many. I There's one for you then, because I've seen Miofsky, I was like, would you take, would, could Rangers look at a Duke or Miofsky for Miofsky, a wee bit of cover? I think. I think. I think. I I like the money that Aberdeen and Hearts are going to be asking for. Was it four million for Miofsky? I seen. Is that what they're asking? Is that what it was? Would you, you pay four million for somebody that's proven in the league, nah? Don't know if I would. Nah. Don't know if well, I, well, I, I don't know. How much did Aberdeen pay for Miofsky? Five hundred grand. How can uh, Rangers no find Miofsky before he goes to Aberdeen? Goes to Aberdeen uh, that's what recruitment's all about. Uh, do you know what uh, I mean? Listen, we won't find these players first. Uh, there'll be somebody out there. Rangers create enough chances. You're just needing somebody very good to be on the end of these things. That's what the climate come on. No, but he's obviously be successful with the, the two Belgian clubs. Is that he'll not play? That could be a league, huh? He could look at that league and they'll know they'll no be expensive. I think January is massive for both old firm teams. Oh. Mm -hmm. Massive. It I think both teams both teams need to recruit and I actually think Rangers need to recruit more heavily than Celtic do to be honest which I think will be an unpopular opinion but they do Rangers need to recruit, Rangers need than recruit more than Celtic do a million percent why do you think Celtic squad stronger? I, I think their starting 11 is much stronger right now I think squad wise they'll both need to look to improve but mate Celtic won a table last year and lost maybe 2-3 players and Rangers have went for an overbuild and hit, we've been saying for months that mm -hmm. the players aren't good enough mm -hmm. no because Celtic have had a, a couple of poor results doesn't mean yeah. that Rangers start 11's now unbelievable. Rangers need to still go ah, and improve in point. January. Very good point. Very good point. Very good point. But I, I, I can see both teams bringing a right few players in each. I can't, but I, I can't get my head around sell at the moment. Look at it. There's some sport bringing. <laughs> Have you farted uh, it yet, to be honest? Couldn't get my shit out of me. No, it, yeah. I farted out earlier on. It was fucking stinking. Oh, it's not worth it. I farted in the lift on the way up, right? Oh. And see, because I forgot the secret Santa had to get back down, the fart was still smelling there. That's oh. how bad it is. Oh. When you came back in the lift, you just smelled it. I was still like... smelling it. I was, and, 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 and one would get in with me. Did your oh, dad oh, oh, like, you ever fart when you were playing Subutio? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting that, boy. He's trying to replicate the windy conditions, isn't he? <laughs> It's going to be a way to point him in, lads. <laughs> what did he do for the rain? Piss off. <laughs> for a snow, he's like that. That's, that's unbelievable. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, that was unreal. I hope I get a Subutio set this year. <laughs> I've got a shakes of you. I, try, I should have got a Subutio for your secrets. Is this the last podcast of the year? Uh -huh. Is it? Aye. No, there's one after Christmas, no? So what happened? No. no. Yeah, this is the last one, lads. Oh, is yeah. it? And the bells are ringing yeah, out on Christmas Day. We should do a season. Honey, baby. How'd you even want that? That was good, huh? I think we should do season awards. Yeah. Season awards? Half, Half, Half season, season awards. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You want to do this before or after we talk about Selig? Yeah. Uh, well, 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 he's tied to late. He's tied to late. We've been on this fucking podcast for 45 minutes and we fucking no spoke about me. We need to get this shit out of He's scared of the brigade. Lush. Are you scared of the green <laughs> Just say it, bro. No, no, no. Just say Listen, it. I'll tell you the new, and, 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 I, and I look at the other months, I'm probably the most out there honest pundit you, you'll find. I ain't no cheerleader like this country seem to love. I mean, we know who we're talking about. Aye. Either side of the fence, cheerleaders. I'll never be that in my life because in the midweek I get slaughtered for. My point about Celtic, the reaction when they beat Final, maybe it was a wee bit like. I just, just seen them cuddling each other and. But the, mate, what you don't realise is that's like what twelve comments. There'll be thousands that agree with you. But my point was is they they could beat the Your first spot on me. Aye, the Scottish Cup. The performances haven't been great. They're bottom of the group and they're out of Europe before the last game is even played. So I couldn't really get even when you won. Uh, I know you, you still need to take the game serious. Um, so when I said that, then fans are gone. He's the type of fan that he loves when the team get beat. I mean, it's so far for the truth. So well, last year you were buzzing in the one, haven't you? Exactly, mate. So I ain't listening to that. And as I said, I'll never be a cheerleader like a certain couple of guys. Um, so, what is that? but the, I'll tell you, the fit was not good enough. No, no. It is, I mean, you think of that for last season. I heard Rogers again. He's questioning the mentality slightly. Questioning said, "I, I, I expect." What was it he said again? I expected. I'm surprised. I'm no surprised. I'm no surprised <coughs> that they didn't sort of. Show much that I mean, this team won a treble last season, so they've, been t I mean, they've already proved it. They're good enough, they've proved them. If, if, you, so if, you, if, you, if you're, you're saying after the game, you're, he's no surprised by the attitude and the performance, 
why give them players that trust to play again? Why don't you just say, no, I'll bring in some of these fringe players and give them a shot because it can't be any worse than what, what's being put on show. Like, you're watching, we obviously can't watch the game Saturday because it's a three o'clock kickoff. But the highlights, there was fucking knee highlights or something. Apart from a cross. You always had a couple of chances. Aye, but, but, a couple but, of chances. But, a couple of chances. But apart from that, the only fucking highlight you see is Brendan Rogers clapping this every five minutes <laughs> for a five yard pass. Mm. It's fucking I, rubbish. I, I look at it and, and it's a. <laughs> Who's got better under Rodgers apart from O'Reilly? Yeah. He's the only man. Mm -hmm. Everybody else has got worse. Mm. Well, Scales, there's O'Reilly. What happens if somebody, that's it. If somebody comes in in January and offers silly money for O'Reilly? I mean, you can say what you like, people going about the quality and that they need to get more players in January, but some of the decisions in terms of selection have, have been right. completely baffling to me. Mm -hmm. I, I said to the one about Phillips, I went to the Hibs game, how Phillips started against Kilmarnock after the, the performance against Hibs, I'll never know. No, no disrespect to you, Mikey Johnson, but like, he's not done enough to be playing and no. he's still playing in the team. I, I just don't get it, eh? Burnaby and then Burnaby coming Burnaby. on the bench. Burnaby? Is it, what's the Quan? Quan on the bench for anywhere. But Lager Bielka scores. So you're 2 0 down to the eight. mighty jam tarts, right? And you bring on Burnaby for Lewis Palmer? Baffling. That's mate. madness. I don't, I don't get that one. Is that trying to prove a, like, some point? I don't know. Sure, but to be fair, I, I've got to get in there. Mate, we were. I thought we were very good on Saturday, and, and, and I, a hundred percent. I'm like, it's probably the poorest I've seen Celtic at Celtic Park since I've been back in Scotland in 2015. I, I think you could have played for three years and Celtic when they scored. Really, I, I thought know. honestly, I, I've never felt so comfortable watching the game. Think they're not scoring here, even first half. Like there was a lot of crosses into the box, but I thought we defended them really well. And then second half at half time, you're even thinking two 0 at Parkhead. Like you still. Still, your back's going to be against the wall 45 minutes, they defend well. Never thought at one point, like, we're really under the cross here, we're really getting threatened. And I thought, obviously it helped scoring two, two goals, like, Early set on. piece against. How many goals set like? Set, I can see the set pieces. Some of the corners. How's, how's, the, how's the best striker in Scotland standing on? He's in the box, we'll take Kyogo. Was that one of the best strikers? How's one of the best strikers in Scotland standing on? He's on the fucking um, six yard. Johnson, Johnson, Johnson. Doesn't need a jump, mate. Just keep doesn't want that big massive head he's got. Johnson, was, it, was, was it him who was picking him up? Even even that moment, but somebody talked to me about the free kick. Why somebody is lying on the ground behind a wall for 25 yards out? I think what, it, what is the point of that? Mm. It's, just, right. it's, over, it's just the overall performances, though, isn't it? I watched in recent Marin, it was similar. Like, most teams that's going to play are going to play that low block, so you're, you're going to expect that. But they were just, I mean, he brought his full backs in that day, but when they were in, they just stayed. It wasn't like, and the winger stayed, it, it, nobody was moving within the game. Um, Again, no. if you look at him, to me, like all his career, he's played a four-two-three-one, two centers, a ten with Madison and Vardy at Leicester. Done it at Celtic like, with Rodrick in the ten, wing, uh, Sinclair and Forrest the two wiper. Now he's ch suddenly changed and we're playing a certain playing a similar formation that Ange played. Surely when you come here, you're going, I'm playing this way, and if you can't play it, then I'll get players that can. Mm -hmm. Does that not does that that no shock? Does it not shock you that he's is changed that, so quickly? Is that not what people have wanted though from if be? Playing the way Hans played. I know, but you, you, you don't know what fans as a manager, mate, do you? Oh, you shouldn't, eh? But Surely you've got your own way of playing well, you your belief and you stick to it. In fact, you can't, I mean, you might like the but you need to know what you want to coach, do you know what I mean? Exactly. So he doesn't know how to coach Andy's style, then you can't, you can't just do I that. I think the worrying thing is, like, yeah, Rogers keeps talking about, he's, he's mentioned it so many times about quality and wanting players, needing new players, but he should be doing better with what he's got. 100%. I, I, I think. For me, Alistair Johnson, when he, he signed last year, I thought he was very, very good. I thought it went under the radar how well he'd done when he came in with Celtic. Looks a shell of the player. Mm. Shell of the Kyogo's player. Kyogo's a big guy Taylor, me. we talked about how consistent Greg Taylor was Aye. last year. Again, I know. Kyogo scored one more goal than Dessers. Dessers has been getting caned left, right, and centre every week. What scored do you think it is with Kyogo? I like? love Kyogo as well, mate. He's a top player, Kyogo, isn't he? Nah. Aye, his movement. Am I wrong in thinking no, that? I I think, of course he is. Aye, his, his, movement, his movement's like. Amazing. But what's it doing? But all his but goals came for the same thing. The ball coming across the front. Why does the, the ball come I across know. the front? That's spot on. Because that's what I'm talking about. You know when the ball's coming in. You know what the ball when he's he knows when the ball's at the centre midfielder under Ange. It's going to be two passes and the ball's coming in. See now, mate. Why are would we, you make that run if the ball's not coming in? Are we at a point now where if things don't pick up between now and then the, the end of the, the, the December? Because obviously Rangers in the thirtieth, they lose that game. I think fans are going to be calling him calling for his head. Because Celtic fans are only convinced, they were, they were convinced at the beginning because it was like the best option at that time, got off to a fairly decent start and then they've had this lull and I think the fans are just getting fed up. I can't believe, honestly the way, the way he spoke all season, 
I just can't. It keeps on talking about negative, the, la- the lack of quality. It's all the time. Uh, it's a lot it's of always quality. an excuse. Always an excuse. Mentality, attitude. No, got the personnel. Need to strengthen. It's just constant. So when, you, when you're saying that, you, if you're sitting there in a dressing room or a, a squad friends playing, I know you hear your manager saying these things all the time. You're sitting there thinking, well, that's, that's me he's talking about. Like, it's just a bad mentality to have. Mm. Whereas I'm pretty sure under Ange, everybody felt as though they were an important role in the team somewhere. I don't know. Look, compare, I don't want to compare it with Ange, but. No, but the t- that, team won a, that team won a treble, so there's oh. clear quality there. Mm-hmm. Maybe in Europe, I, they need to maybe strength in certain areas, but and the, 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 quality, the team that they've got there, I just feel like, I just feel like in, in the past when he's managed likes of Leicester and stuff and it's got the goons got a wee bit tough, it's just fucking it's just kind of that they, they, they've been shit. Like they have like, <laughs> like they have, <laughs> they have just like Leicester were Leicester were terrible when he got sacked. Mm. It just needs to you make it the best of the the, the players. It's sort of the same things he was saying that last season at Leicester is very similar to what he's saying now, isn't it? Aye. So it's I just don't mental. Know. Why did they come, why why did they come back if he was gonna sort of have this attitude? I don't know. Because they'd already done a fit in Scotland. Mm. Could he genuinely be under pressure? I think so, I. Because you're know, asking 60,000 fans that turn up every single week, I'll be happy with what they see on that park, and they're not. But I, is there an element as well? See, see the signings that you're saying development signings, blah, 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 right? Have they actually had a chance, a lot of these players? Like a run in the team. Like, you're telling, I know you're boy, like the boy Telly and that's been injured and Quan and the likes of these, they've never even, they've never played. Well, Bernardo's a prime example, I know always bang on about they've it, but had a run in he's the played team. the three Champions League games, he's not played yeah. a league game. I wonder if that was part of the deal, he had to play Champions League. Or just an elite player in it, you only play, I only Wait, play Champions mad. League. Mad. <laughs> it's absolutely mad. So how many players do you think Silva need to get in the January window? Four or five? Do you think, do you think how do you, again? This is my whole point when you've not got an actual style. How, how do you how do you recruit? How, how do you know what you need in certain positions? I know, but he he's the one he's overseen all the recruitment, and he was happy with the, how the recruitment went in the summer. But if you want to play it for the back, I definitely think you need a better. I know that Joe Hart done it under Ange, and they played it for the back. But I still think they need a, a new goalie. Aye. Mm-hmm. Even again, like you say, cross boys, the uh, fake corners. He, he looked vulnerable, didn't he? Well, I'd, I'd said it last year. I think Celtic need to go and got Kane for it. I think it's, I think it's now quite a lot of people are saying the same thing. I mm. think uh, again, I, I, I've said that I, Joe Hart's been a, a good signing for Celtic, but I just think how many points does Joe Hart win Celtic? Uh, to me, that's the difference between a good goal and a top goal. And he's been a top goal, but mm. I think now at his age, I don't think he's won Celtic points in these big moments. I think Feyenoord's probably the first one I thought. In that game, you can come away with say Joe Hart's one as that game yeah. with some of the some of the moments he had in it. But I think there's too many times. You no, know, how many times we've seen him this season with rush out, no get it. A goals came for it, got sent off against Livingston with the same thing. I think command these area for set pieces. Motherwell, somebody's heading in the six yard box, and Johnson, somebody's heading in the six yard box. Hart, somebody's heading in the six yard box. I think for the free kick, maybe I'm being harsh, but I think you could do better for the free kick. No? I think you should do. I think I, you should I do better. That's a, that's a long, that's a long way out. Is there a worry, right? Because you you got this like when Steve Clark left Kelly, like and for me is like a once in a fucking generation manager that said right. like I've had. Will it be a struggle after he leaves for a few years to get back to that sort of level? Well, ever, well, I don't think they'll ever get back to that level. I mean, look at no, mate, he's I, actually ripping the Premier League up. That's right. crazy. I don't think so. Nah, I think if you can, if you get the right guy, in, I know it's hard, but you look at the boy Mareska. At, Leicester is it then there will be guys that are like you see Clermont staying at Rangers uh, an instant lift so I don't think I think Celtic will still be up there but at the moment um, it's just worrying the way they're but playing you, you just imagine you how, how he spoke like the players I know. what they must have felt when he spoke and the style of play anyone else you're getting after it you just think hmm. I don't know it's, could um, be wrong, it's a hard one I think, I think you hear Madison and I talk about him Madison uh, says he's the best manager he's ever had Aye. I think for a team, uh, if you want a team to progress with where they're at, I think it's going to be hard. But Celtic domestically should. I'm not being funny. I think you should go. You could go in there and, and make Celtic competitive domestically. No, you disagree. I could get them fucking really good. One hundred percent. But uh, what, what does Celtic really. need to do that from now? They'd what do they need to change? They need, they need, they need better performances. But how how, how are they going to get that? Well. <sighs> Individually, they've got to look at themselves individually and say, right, can I do better on a Saturday afternoon? Because it's no. Surely, surely, I'm thinking, like, who, who's the voices in that Celtic changing room? See, when I was bad individually, I always felt it was because I, I was playing in a team that I'd not. See, when I had played under instruction and direction, mate, I, I always felt like a better player. These players are no bad, turned into bad players. No, they're overnight. not bad players. They're just like, last year, they were in a system that you couldn't know play well in it, mate. Because everyone knew exactly what they were doing when they had the ball. 
I always think you, you start playing bad when you're ma- basically going out there and making it up. That's what it looks like to me with these players. Am I wrong in saying that? No, I, I mean, Greg Taylor come inside the pitch last year and he knew the options that he had straight away. He gets the ball left back now and he's basically got to beat a guy, the, the right winger, every time. And he's not that type of player, eh? Do you think that there's too many changes within the team week to week? I due to injuries and suspensions and things like that, is there a point where... Because if you look at the, the, the back four, Alistair Johnson and... and um, uh, fucking hell, what do you call him, Greg Taylor? But the two, the two, the two, the two, mask on, the two, the two centre halves are always chopping and changing because Carter Vickers has been injured, injured. then Scales has come in, and then Lagabelka has come in during the week. He's, it's like I don't think they've got the same. Uh, you'll remember how many times I spoke to you off off the podcast about this. What was so <laughs> undervalued with Celtic last year? was their movement off the ball, ball and, and I thought for teams domestically I thought it was so near impossible to play against mm-hmm. and everyone talked about the way they play with the ball at their feet and their rotations to get on the ball but see them are unselfish runners mm-hmm. with people right. just running them behind coming inside rotating for me the new it's a bit more pedestrian I think if you're a team like us at the weekend where we go to and up like that, right we're going to stay in our shape come beat us see if you're going to just stay in your slot so much easier to play against. You just shift and mm. let them get, let them go wide, let them cross balls into the box. But see when you've got O'Reilly, Hatati running behind, midfielders tracking back and opening this pocket of space. But see now, and, you, and again, especially when you've got Kyogo coming to the ball as much as he does now. Buzzing. Flat, like, you have Buzzing, it. Buzzing, like, uh-huh. Have it. Like, if you don't want to threaten us in there, we'll just let you have it there and you can try and break us down. But that's what I'm saying. Like that, He would never have done that last year because it was clear instruction. Yeah, it is. It's like people are just running wherever they fucking see fit. Aye, uh, again, like. But everything seems wrong as well. Like, why your Belka scores, Aye. and then the next day it comes out that he's on the fucking. He can go in the summer, and then somebody says the feature at Celtic Park at halftime was him doing an interview. No, to me, there's something really strange about that. That 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 either th- that tells me that Lager Belka is horrific in training because w- what's the other answer? Because he comes back. He's in the squad. Stephen Welsh hasn't played a game since Petodi, the second game of the season. He comes in straight away and starts. Lagi Belka scores, and he's known the squad three days later. That's madness, isn't it? That tells me that Rogers just isn't fancying him, to be honest. And even the wee boy frame, like he comes on and makes his debut on Wednesday, and, and then he's playing against his Cobride on Saturday. I know. Strange, nah. Aye, I some, feel like it's decis- been like, some of the decisions have been Bizarre. strange all year. Aye. I mean, where, where's Burnaby came for? Genuinely, he's been to Burnaby for months now. <laughs> I he don't get been, that. Bring him, 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 just... him on for Palmer. That's just bizarre, right. isn't it? It really is. Do you now be... consider Rangers favourites for the game on the 30th? No. No? No, I'm saying no. Just so I can annoy somebody to can fetch me. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's going to be a closer game than what we thought it might. Could have been initially, I think. It doesn't know how to play in that other sea world. He... But since the has been out, he doesn't know who else to play there. Aye. He's not convinced in it in a way. Because McGregor moved up one, didn't he? And um, a lot yeah. went in and as a centre. Turnbull's been brought off at half time, maybe was it twice, maybe. Aye, he was um, not, he wasn't really maybe that. He's not convinced with him. I don't think he's been, well, he's clearly not convinced with the boy, uh, the Portuguese boy. Um, so he's he, he really got that sorted going into that game. Um, but then. I know it's not what Celtic fans want to hear, but they're starting to get. Bodies back now as well. That's going to impact the start. Now. Made a game one, didn't he? Made Mine is a massive. Hatati's back. Uh, back, Hattati's back. So I think they've got. Could Hatati be back for the thirtieth potentially? Aye, aye. I think he's back. I'm sure he's back training. Is he? Yeah, sure that that is the one thing you would give him that uh, even when Hatati never played for Ange last season, that was like one of the same team. Well, in the few games that Hatati came back in between the injuries, he was outstanding, and Celtic did play better. Play better, yeah, hundred percent. So potentially, if we get Hatati back, then a whole a whole different ball game might open up, but. The good thing is, it's the, the game on the thirtieth is as, is as competitive as it needs to be because obviously Rangers got a chance to to win the game, win their two games in hand, potentially go four points clear. It's, ma- it's massive which is for both mental, teams. Whereas game. Celtic can win that game, and regardless of Rangers winning their two games, they're still top of the league. So that going into the break, you're thinking, right, okay, but it's mad how quickly it's turned, isn't it? It's mad, I football. Like we're talking there like four or five games in when Rangers look drop points in the first to Kamarnik like, and then they drop. Some no longer we were saying all oh, that's it, title's over straight away and Good shout nah, for me, Matt. That was a great shout for you. Um but uh, <laughs> no, the title race is definitely back on and the treble's on for Rangers. No treble, quadruple. Europa League. You'll never see me here again if that's the case. <laughs> 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 never be here again. But if Rangers win oh, fuck. Never see me, mate. <laughs> no chance. Do you know what we need to take that you need to take that 
in the centre of park. That's what Rogers needs. Just can't imagine he just packed that in the middle of the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he needs to. Needs who do you think on the, on the on the derby come the thirtieth? Who, who do you think is favourites? Need need the on form. Aye, you need the Rangers, wouldn't you? Why? No, but I think Celtic are struggling to beat Hearts at home. It struggled against St Johnston at home. What makes you think it's going to be? I just think that game at, at Parkhead with the crowd. Right, season awards. Right, what are you no, going for? I did that at the end, though. Do you want to do that then? I think. Uh -huh. Because okay, Scottish mate. football is shocking. <laughs> Can't believe that. That is one of the most bizarre interviews I've ever seen. Why did he not say when they were winning games? Why mate. was he not shite when they were winning? Well, why did he leave Morecambe for a second time to come up to Scotland if you think it's that bad? Bloody if Morecambe rubbish. are other things better, why you jumped at a, why you jumped at a chance twice to leave them? Bizarre, mad, mad, see, see if you're a player, there's another one, see if you're a player and you're hearing him saying that, I'd be like, fuck off. Chapman's door, Honestly, yeah. Chapman's door the next day, 100%. Mate, you see these teams are much better than the teams you go out there? Why'd you leave them then? I've played, I've played in League 2 in England, he's talking shit. Doug Poo, <laughs> mate, Doug Poo? It's fucking That's brutal. That's when I played League 1, it was honking. It might, be, it might be different now, I but I hate him. In, play, I played in League 1, League 2 one season, mate, and I fucking League 1 I played in, and it was fucking, I thought it was me, and I played in League 2, with Darlington on loan back in 99, 2000, and it was fucking flinging shite each and all. <laughs> right? So for him to come out with that today, <laughs> he is, he's on man. He Mate, I don't, I, 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 honestly, what he's thinking, I don't know what he's thinking that they come out with all that crap. Honestly, I, could, I was laughing when I seen it because I'm like, what the fuck? By the way, he said it after a week, a Celtic beating Feyenoord, Rangers beating Betis and Aberdeen beating Frankfurt and all. What a week to come out with a statement like that. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a big believer as well. See if you think the standard of Scotland's that bad. See if you're a coach, go and change go it. Somewhere. Go show me something. Show me your team playing better style of football. Because when I watched Ross County, you were the same Ross County that was there with Malcolm Mackay so far. He's a direct, you've got two strikers to put balls into the box. If it's that bad, then you should squish, you should squish it, mate. Yeah. Huh? Ross County's even a third this year if it's that bad. But he's saying that, his uh, thing is, he's saying that his squad is going rubbish. Bloody rubbish. Aye, see, I've mean, come like up kicks. here and I've looked, <laughs> I've looked at them and they're, um, they need to be better. <laughs> Fuck. Standard rubbish. He's, he's, I hope they get better again. What he's done, done an interview and made himself public enemy number one Aye. in Scotland. Aye. Because Aye. coming out and just... He is quite outspoken in general, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I think he quite enjoys being right. that guy, doesn't he? Yeah. I think he does quite enjoy yeah. being that guy. Yeah. See if you want to come out and clean your own team, fair does. Why are you disrespecting for a week? Dundee have went to Ross County and beat you. Dundee had 17 them, shots as well. <laughs> and you've seen yeah, the same win. Game. Is that bad? How are they getting 17 shots against you? I know. I know he said this is a, he said in his interview, and even uh, Tony Dock will agree that we were the better team today. I don't think he will. I don't think so. I think he was on the board, they absolutely battered you. <laughs> and they've got a lower budget to you and went up and beat you. Mate, see, when Good I came up here for England, I, f I found the SPL so hard, man. Did you? Yeah, oh my on. god, see, when I, it's the same it's so I fast, mate. Uh, see, when I come up here, I, I, I come up here because I thought it was going to be easier. And I, I, no. I, I thought it was. Uh, it was. Well, you thought it was easier? Aye. Uh, oh, did you, right? Like Derek Adams. <laughs> I'd Not love to see Derek Adams in that skirt, <laughs> would you? I, I, only, I only thought it was because of the way I played. So in England, I'm trying to fucking hold off giants upon uh, giants when you cut the Scottish football. I'm being asked to hold off fucking Lee Mayer <laughs> and fucking <laughs> uh, John Potter. You know what I mean? <laughs> you saw yourself there, son. What's coming into me? Where is the fake taxi Danny Shetu. Them guys are at now. Uh, they are bigger, they are, they are, they are uh, bigger down south. Yeah, the first game, I remember it, come on, look at Denzel. I was like, what the fuck is this, man? That is rapid, it was rapid, isn't it? I was fucked <laughs> after 20 minutes. You can't breathe, mate. Like, see, with, down there, we were all about moving the ball to make opportunities to get a few one second, and it was like possession football, and up here, it was just like fucking. I can't do this, man. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. That is, it's, it's a shock. I remember my first game, honestly, like proper. I was like, I don't think I can play in that. That's yeah. what I love about the it's Scottish exciting. game. It's brilliant. Yeah. That's why I love it, mate. See, I, I want the game, I want Scottish football to develop stylistically. I would like to see yeah, more teams with more identity. Yeah. People with more of a style play more identity, but it doesn't mean the standard's poor. No. I think there's a lot of good players in Scotland, a lot of good players in the league. And like you say, Fucking League 2, you wind me up. Yeah, it's pish. Okay, what, what do you, why do you think he said that? Do you think he's just genuinely... Because he's, he's, he's had a 97 minute sucker punch. 
<laughs> and he's fucking fuming. <laughs> I think it can only be emotion. I'd like to think that Adams will come out and apologise this week for that interview. Because well, well, he's, well, like he's disrespected 11 other teams. Aye. And he's that on, didn't he? Imagine it just zoomed in when he was saying that about Scottish football he had a leather skirt on in tights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to see him wearing that. Look what it's reduced us to. I'll tell you what, this I can see. This is what I've ended up wearing. <laughs> it's that bad. You look like an utter, didn't you? I can see why some men like wearing the skirts. It feels quite comfortable. Do you know what Joe Kev's like the new? Do you know how, do you know how boys went through that phase of wearing the big long t-shirts under a jumper? Aye, jumper under a That's what it looks like, you know? Oh, <laughs> Unreal, mate. mate. it's Matt how much that suits you. I know. <laughs> no, seriously. You should definitely do you a You should get into the cross dressing. You should do a porn. I feel like I'm uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper for the wrestling. Uh, it's a wee bit that as well, isn't it? Uh, St Johnston, by the way, I, I'm going to again, I've Brilliant. called it completely wrong, what a fucking appointment Clay Craig will need to be. I know, I was the same, I, I, I said he was a big boy. Bit of batter tips. Bat nah, batter tips. Batter tips. Young boy, so young boy, chances, come on, uh, no come on, the young boy that's um, come through the, uh, the Sun St Johnston Academy was very good. Alright. Um, What's his name? I don't know, but I'm just saying about it. <laughs> and oh. he, he's going to ask you that there. <laughs> he's not just a say that ah, I was good, I. <laughs> but uh, by the way, he makes so many chances. But what is Levitt doing for the goal? Just pass to uh, your centre half. Can, uh, you too, can you drink too much caffeine? Because I've had like a coffee, a Red Bull, <laughs> and oh, fucking stunned for the day. <laughs> you get the shakes? Uh, I, 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 uh, I was not drunk. No, what I did here, pizza crawl on the way in at Queen Street Station. <laughs> King Rib Supper, please, pal. Hunters are King Rib Supper, King Rib Supper. Hunters are salt and vinegar. How bad your test is, thank you, man. King Rib Supper, Hunters are salt and vinegar. Were you bluffed? No, no. Oh, yeah. Went to the train, train was due for half an hour, so I didn't put the wee bar across the road to the train station. <laughs> what, were your, your supper? Aye, fish, in with the, the fish supper and sat and had a quick bite. What was a King Rib Supper. So I have fish supper and a King Rib Supper. Seen every type of supper. The pizza supper, king rib and fish. King rib supper. <laughs> Did you do a shite in the train? No. <laughs> man, you did a shite in the train, innit? How far is the train station for your house? Uh, I was actually lucky the Livingston Physio was on the same train, so you gave me a lift up the road. Are they? No. That was the result. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, what was he saying about Livingston? Oh, I couldn't possibly repeat it. <laughs> He's a hero. Oh, no. what a guy you are. Uh, well, right. you think that skit up in your wardrobe when you get in? <laughs> Wait, can you please take your jeans off? I'd love to see an image of your legs under it. Nah, mate, they're too Come light on. for this show. They're too light for this show. Come uh, on, mate. please get his jeans off. <laughs> that is funny, man. Thank you, right Oh, could uh, could St Johnson get the top six? Oh, it's a big ask, and I think there's a lot of teams in the summer bracket sort of fighting for nah. for that. But if they've, they've definitely improved, I, I, every game to be fair, you've got to say they've been in. Even a Celtic game up until the 90th minute, they've been competitive in every single game. Mm. Obviously, when they came to Tincastle, I cut each goal one 0 had a few chances towards the end. So, mate, the complete opposite of what. I thought Craig Levine's team would be. I thought they would sit in, be hard to beat on the counter. Mate, seeing them against Hibs, pressing high up the pitch, winning the ball back high. And by really the way, aggressive. They pass it a lot more than people think. Like, if you're not actually watching Johnson, maybe take the Celtic game out because it's a different game, but the other games they've, they've tried to they've tried to play. I think they'll look to get a striker, St Johnston. Aye. Mm. Uh, you do, I, don't, I think they'll like give you a bit of sort of firepower up there. Yeah. I think Andy Kirk's got to take a lot of credit as well. Oh, I, I see think he's a breaking manager. I think, the coaching. I think he does a lot of the coaching, mate. Uh, so yeah. I think you can see his influence on. On how they play, but again, good for Craig Levine. Let's see if you know what to do. That go and get somebody that's Expert. good at doing it. Brilliant. And he's just the what main about guy. What with the American investor? Mick Foley. No, mate. Oh. Good. We need Mera in Scotland, don't we? Mera teams don't want to be ambitious 100%. and. Is he, not a, billion, is he not a billionaire as well? It's the same guy that's got bone with it. He sells, sells leather skirts, doesn't he? Does Kevin's yeah. made him a millionaire. <laughs> 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 oh my! Right, he's God. another one, Tony Montgomery. I think he's not. He's not the chance to get his own players in yet, is he? No. They'll they'll go for straight for. They'll have the defenders come in first of January. You think so? Hundred percent. They need defenders. So they concede far too many goals. And they're definitely know this. I think if you're going to play that kind of possession-based football, a guy like Newells, they're not the same team without New Order middle of the pitch. Yep. I think him and Dylan Lever. Similar. For me, too, very similar. I think if you only play with a midfield two. I think you need a bit more legs in there. I think Joe Newell's a really good player. Well, maybe I think he's a really good player, but I think if you want somebody to compliment him, like you say, he's a bit more physicality, a bit more defensive minded. I think him and Levert are a bit more I like for light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd agree with me, mate. Fish is alright, Tony. I think, man, you. 
Aye, it's a big rocky, it's a bit of a bomb scare at times. I, mm. I don't like yeah. him, big Bashiri. Big rocky at times can be a bit okay. rash. Aye, a bit rash, aye, so I think they'll need to get Left field back there. as well, again, you think you see Lewis Stevenson still playing there quite a bit and he's 30. I think they'll look for that, aye. 39 now or something, huh? 100%. Plays <laughs> <laughs> a great by level. Uh, Miller right back, good enough, definitely. Aye. Tavares has done well. Mm -hmm. Tavares he's, is doing good. He's been Montgomery's very good. got a tune at him definitely because he was he was the he had the Burnaby treatment he was nowhere near it for no. a month or two and he's but he's on the, obviously on, on St Johnson saying like top six I don't think out with maybe Hearts have obviously picked up in terms of what that is that four wins out of six after um, losing ah uh, is it four out of six what? no because they lost three in a row didn't they aye maybe four out of seven something like aye, that something I like don't that. think the rest are consistent enough so there's that chance of getting out of the top six I think because I don't think that like, your Aberdeens your Hibs Aberdeen have finished top six in there surely they'll pick should. up aye well they're doing, they're doing what are they second ball they've good players well, did you make a Baron not even getting on must have aye. signed me someday aye, 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 you think with that big pitch mate and his, his energy I think they're a good player that boy so they are would you take him would you have him in Rangers and aye I like him I think he's good I, again, I've, I've said it before as well. Everyone just says he's this dog. He's no. Well, he's good on the ball as well. I said that when he's so a sharp. He can play. So, so sharp. Uh -huh. um, nearly at the end of the season, words. Do you? And I know for a fact you've, you don't even know what you're going to ask. No idea. When did you come up, mate? Just there. Just in your head. Oh, the rewards. I like it, mate. I, I like that wee segment you've had. That's good, and it? it's exciting. Uh, again, talking about the lovely physio. They're kind of quite adrift at the bottom now, living at Livingston. You're struggling mm. massively. They and the problem. Davey said you'll probably try and get a few players in in January, but. What what budget does Levy have to try and attract quality that can give them a, a few fucking push? penalty taker, mate? How many penalties have Levy missed? Missed a hair. Sean Kerry, I'm sure, has missed like three or four. Davey will sell like his motor or something to get a play. <laughs> <laughs> He's that type of he'll just sell his house. He's <laughs> <laughs> like in a fucking tent. <laughs> they, 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 they are leading players badly, Levy, because they, 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 they are leading, or they, they, are, they are looking. Miles away because Johnson obviously like to say they've had that pick up. What they, what they actually won St Johnson? Is it, is it three out of four since he's come in? You're big on the three of the stats in there. Ah, just <laughs> making stuff up, with <laughs> um, you? I tell make... you what, I don't even think it's close to three out of four as well. Eh? I don't even think it's close to three out of four they've won. Is it? Well, Hearts and Celtic were in two of the last four, and uh, I can't even remember the other one, but oh. they've definitely improved. Livy for, well, Livy for me. I, I never comment on who's going to go down, but they've got to be worried at a stage. Yeah, because you you talked about St Johnson having a goal scorer. Who's who's Levy's top scorer this year? Maybe Bruce Anderson. Maybe Bruce Maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, again, the five the, points behind Motherwell, but they have got two games in hand. But games in hand mean nothing when you're not winning games. Fuck me. It's hard to see how they're going to pick points up. I don't know. It's again, it's mad how quickly Motherwell have dropped it at that bottom two, isn't it? I feel as if I've defended Motherwell a bit too much, but. I, I, when I watch them, I still think they're half decent. So mate. I, I don't, like under that, pressure, I don't think they're a team that should have been on that amount of a winless run. Uh, I think it will be under pressure, definitely. But for me, I, I think it'd be a mistake to sack him every day. I, I think. Give him the end of the season. Stick with it. I give him the end of the season. Um, I mean, it was, uh, listen, it's still no good reading, but five draws in the seven. They missed some of it. They missed no, no. some of the chances recently. Aye. Didn't Again, they? like you say, you're wanting more of that in Scottish. I, I, I think Motherwell actually do have an identity Aye, they do, and a style mate. of playing. And by the way, see if you think that they're still playing for a manager. How many goals they scored in the last, last minute? minute. No, yeah. like, they keep coming back through an area to score goals in injury time. Again, we, we, you compare them to when they play the bigger teams, what's their input on it? They've played Celtic twice, Matt O'Reilly scores a last minute goal for a part to win, then they get a draw at Celtic Park. They went to Rangers, they could beat 1-0 and never should have lost the game. Nah, they were well in the game, probably yeah. should have took something from it. So for me, I, I think it would be a mistake. They're missing Van Veen so play. much. Who, sorry mate? Van Veen. Yank. They miss, I know it's, it's such a fucking easy thing to say, but see the amount of chances they miss recently. Yeah. Hey, they're missing Lennon Miller. Miller as well. Him as well. 17 right? year old, they're not get... to say, but yeah, they are. That's the thing with Kettle, because they do go to Rangers on Christmas Eve, but he wouldn't be the type, he'll have a game plan in place. I don't, uh, like you say, they've went to Celtic Rangers and done well, so I don't think that'll phase them no. too much, but. No. no. I think it's then the next games. Aberdeen away, Aberdeen Levy, Levy, Levy like the games, like they need, to, they need to get a win for somewhere. I think yes. there's the ones. Okay, lads, we're on to the end of season. Paul Slane's end of season, uh, middle season awards. Yeah, middle season awards. Okay, we'll start with your player of the season so far. Uh, for me, Stevie uh, Freel kept saying, "Where did Kev get that skill last night?" Didn't he? He went one, didn't he? Uh, he we'll got go, brown we'll one. Go Kev, say me. I would say the player of the season so far for me would be Matt O'Reilly. Yeah, I'd go with that O'Reilly. Uh, Matt O'Reilly. I Did think he's say? been consistent. Uh -huh. Goals, added goal, more goals to his game. 
and possibly in some games actually drag Celtic out. Is he not top scorer in the league situation. still? Or is, is he behind right? Seema by one maybe? Mm. Young player of the season. Oh, good, okay. good question. The boy at Kamarnock, Watson. Uh, ah, good shout. I would have went Lenny Miller before he's uh, before he injury. Killed him out. I think the young boy at Kamarnock's a big player for them. Great. Uh, he's very good Watson. Uh, I really like Watson. Yeah. Yeah. God, that's tough, isn't it? Hey, you. Owen Beck. Oh, oh great shout. Good shout. Oh. Aye. I put McKellen in that as well. Could you still put him I think Watson's a good shout, mate. I'd right. stick with Watson's done really well, but I think Owen Beck's been the best left back in the league. No, Are I'm you going to answer? You're in. No, I'm not. No, no, come on, here's your young no, player. Chris Tarrant does me answer these questions. Chris Tarrant? Sorry? <laughs> no. Who's um, yours? I like Lennon Miller, but he's not obviously been injured, so. I'll go Luke McCowan at Dundee. I've been at. How old is Luke McCowan? He can't be. 23. He can't qualify for the young 21. He's going to be under 20. He's going to be under 20. I need to find out his age, but I'll I tell you what, it's not 20. Alright, Mayo. I'll go Mayo at Kelly. Mayo. Centre back. Again, any time. I'm not going on. Any time I've seen him, I think he's done really well. Look, McKeown, by the way, that 26 year old young player here. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> You've had a shocker. Anything I've head. seen today. You've had a shocker. <laughs> Biggest super. He looks young, Look, McKeown, doesn't he? He looks like he's 16. Um, no, take this how you want to take it, so you can answer it on your own way. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest surprise this season. So I'm letting you let whatever your mind thinks is, so it could be a surprise like Celtic. Celtic, Celtic, no, Celtic, Celtic that's, a good, past, that's a good Celtic, question. That. Celtic the past month. How poor they've been. You can't have the same answers as MDL. Biggest surprise of the season. Mm. Oh, fucker. Did Dora right. get beat for Gang Kirk? Aye, <laughs> that was a bit. I know. Uh, <laughs> biggest surprise of the season. Mm. Probably Kamalik. I think at the beginning of the season, I don't think many people expected Kamal to be up there challenging the top six. I think we did. I think he's still doing the Dark I'm saying many people didn't even shoot <laughs> using that bucket. <laughs> so, I think in terms of, I'll go, add a wee bit more to that. Obviously beating Rangers opening day of the season and beating Celtic twice. For me, that's that's a big deal. Um, so, I'm going to say Kamal. Your dad staying at the jail is a big surprise as well. <laughs> I'm going to go Kyogo. Oh, oh good, good, pick. Pick. good pick. Good pick. What do you say, Paul? Don't answer the questions. Okay, dude. Um, <laughs> do you say okay, dude? Okay, dude. <laughs> That's what I say. Goal of the season so far. Uh, goal of the season. Oh, fuck. Goal of the season. It would have been good to see if you were going to be a proper or should have put this in the chat last night now. Nah. I know, just keep it my head. Just like off a cuff. See, the one that stands out for me is against Hart, so I can't see it. Watson for me. Yeah. Oh, great shot. He's talking about Hart. Oh, she's answering the You only answer the ones you want to answer. Uh, off. Fucking hell, man! What the one that the is. one that I, 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 the the one that I actually think could be is Matt O'Reilly at Ten Castle, but I'm not going to say that one. And I'm going to go. Oh, that was a great goal, wasn't I'm it? I'm going to go Kieran Dow against. I think it was Levy at home. It was Where's like a, he? Where's Dow? It was like a five, six, seven passing move. Breaks up the pitch, top corner. Matt O'Reilly's goal at St Johnson was pretty decent, right foot. Aye, that Good was goal. a good. That was a great strike. Aye. Top corner. Right. You had one. You're not really Matt Ray is at Tyne Castle as a belt. Go Matt Ray at Tyne Castle. And last, last but not least, manager Oof. of the season. Tony Dock. Great Aye. shout. Tony Dock. Great shout. Yep. Craig Levine. Five games in. Right, uh, it's early, but I would He's done Tony incredible Dock. at Dundee, hasn't he? Right. Aye, he has. I like his team, I like his players. For me, I, I think it just shows you recruitment. I think he's recruited very well. Uh -huh. He's brought in players that have made their impact on the team. How many summer signings are starting? You know what else is depressing, I've got to say? Good Michael Beal potentially going to be the Sunderland manager. Seen that? That's mad, isn't it? I'm done. I'm done with Sunderland if that's the case. Oh, you're a Sunderland fan, aren't I'm you? I'm done. I'll, I'll be back. It may, may, may be good, mate. Put the gas know. mask on, please. I'll put that on tonight. <laughs> Go on, put it on, Stick it on, Lynn. Stick it on, Lynn. <laughs> After you're in, then. <laughs> Stick that on, Lynn. Put the skirt on her. Get the cuff suit. <laughs> fucking flying <tonight. laughs> Have you ever been cuffed? Hey, have I ever been cuffed? <laughs> Aye. Have you? Have Aye. Didn't show a couple of times. No, no I mean in the bedroom. No, no in the bedroom. <laughs> she's never cuffed you? No. Have you ever been cuffed? I'd love to see him cuffed. 
I've, 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 have I done it the other way? Aye. Absolutely. Have you? Aye. <laughs> The radiator. <laughs> like Sergeant Kyle, man. We're bringing him back the radiator for the hydro, because that was a good sketch. He's like, he's like, what did a hydro? Can't wait, mate. I'm incredible, isn't it? Have you any ideas yet? When's the documentary? Right. Oh, the, so the yeah. documentary went out last night. How good was it, mate? You enjoy it, we man? Some laugh, innit? I look good on stage, didn't I? <laughs> good hell, honking, <laughs> man. <laughs> Didn't even fit. Really? Like you should not put it into the. You need to put it in the slot. <laughs> Help him out, Paul. Fucking hell. Hands up, Jerry. Hands up, Jerry the Beadle. Uh, here's one before we go. <laughs> here's one before we go. New Year's resolutions. Oh, put, it, put it on his arm. Oh, that's too tight. Two and a half. Done it, done it, Slay. Slay, chuck the key. Where's well, the key? Get the key, quick. Bastard. <laughs> Surely it's not a real key. Good question. New Year's resolutions. Oh my god. I never do them, mate, to be honest. Um, get a game of football, probably. <laughs> get a game of football. What do you mean that? <laughs> Spend on that. What the fuck is this? Well done, boys. Wait, Derek, let's just watch him try and get that off. I'm not going to lie, right? The key's fucked. <laughs> oh, imagine you're stuck to you, that'd be amazing. No, the, key, the key's actually fucked. Look, it's bent. The key's bent inside it. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, I, they need to come off. <laughs> Keep this camera roll. Imagine him driving the taxi. <laughs> I'm, that's not, I should go and I should go and set the taxi at a site and put the cuff one cuff on the steering wheel and, and, wear, some, that and wear the t-shirt and pick somebody up and see what they say. That's on you. Thank Gordon Smith. <laughs>